for me, it would be um, the reproductive um, rights for women. Um, I have my own issues um, in that particular area. Um, we need to have that put right back in. I want to make sure that women in this country have the opportunity to make choices of their own regarding their bodies. To have free public education is so important. And black people, people of color, they pay their taxes. They should have equal schools and equal access to excellent schools. It's making sure we protect Social Security and Medicare. Yeah, the biggest thing is definitely going to be um, really standing on standing on business as far as like making sure that Israel is like being held accountable for, for what they're doing, if they're going to continue committing genocide, if they're going to continue uh, committing human atrocities. I think that Kamala Harris's administration should definitely be putting their foot down and be like, yo, if you're going to keep um, keep committing violence, then we're going to withhold military aid point blank period. I probably would take, even though health care is important, but I'm a veteran also. So making sure that our vets are taken care of. I used to work with veterans who had barriers to employment. And as a veteran, working with veterans, that's very important and dear to my heart too. Um, the second issue would probably be reparations because a lot of black people um, see the migrants getting a lot of um, money and revenue and stuff coming in, being resources being generated for them. And so I think that is affecting um, black perception of politics. I feel like it's a lot of apathy, and I think apathy is really the tool that um, they're trying to use to get the Republicans in office. Certainly one of them is the expansion of all things related to health care. So for instance, we're two years out to the beginning of an agreement to drop prices on medications on other drugs besides insulin. That is a fabulous start. And I would add one more if I could. Um, it would be around um, um, our black maternal health and women's health. 